Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a quick discussion on an approach to assist entering the altissimo register on the saxophone. Today I'll be demonstrating on the B-flat tenor saxophone, but this approach works on all of the saxophone family. We're going to use the alternative high E fingering. Now to play this, this is E above high C in the standard range of the saxophone. To play this we use the high C fingering, the auxiliary high F fingering, and we put our third finger down on the G key. So we've got our second finger on the standard C key, third finger on the standard G key, but our index finger jumps up to the highest key on the left hand finger stack. On my Mark 7 Selma, it's a circular pearl key the same as all of the white keys on the front of the fingerboard. On the modern saxophones, it will probably be on your saxophone, if it's a more recent instrument, a teardrop metal key. But it's the highest key finger key on the front of the fingerboard on the saxophone. So high, octave key on, C fingering, G finger, and the top auxiliary high F key. That produces a alternate to the normal high E fingering, which is octave key, first and second left hand palm keys, and the top right hand side key. The reason we use that fingering is it has a different feel in our embouchure. It's not as free blowing as the conventional E, but the feel of that auxiliary E fingering sets us up well for the feel when we play any of the altissimo notes. So if we just play an A minor arpeggio, A, C and E, I'll use that fingering to approach the altissimo A. It's a great stepping stone. Now, one of the reasons it is also a good way to start looking for the altissimo register is when we play altissimo A, the normal fingering is, is that we simply play D with the octave key, but we lift up our index finger. So normal fourth line D, but we lift up our index finger. And we have to hear, we have to basically whistle in our mind the pitch of that altissimo A. The fingering itself is almost irrelevant. It won't produce the note just by blowing into the saxophone with your normal embouchure feel and your normal tongue level feel. But auxiliary E puts us in a very easy position to do this. To simply lift up our index finger, put down the three right hand keys that we need to play normal fourth line D and there's, there's altissimo A. It's a simple fingering change. The concept of altissimo relies quite a lot on tongue position and if you're not familiar with the role the tongue plays on a wind instrument, just whistle some notes. And you'll feel that the pitch change when you whistle is done largely by the rise and fall of your tongue. It's the same when you try and play altissimo. I hope you've enjoyed exploring that new fingering, it might be new to you, the auxiliary high E fingering, that is a great stepping stone up to altissimo A. Bye for now.